Hey guys, so are you here? So everybody's been asking after I posted that one shot video yesterday How are you doing so much damage as a frost mage and why aren't you playing glacial spike? Um, I'm going in this video. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm doing so much damage and Why I think glacial spike isn't necessary because you can do so much damage um, I just want to talk real quick about my spec um, and all the modifiers that are going into this, like in yesterday's video. And I also do want to mention, since I don't have a rogue or a priest here with me to help modify my damage, I don't have Dark Archangel, I don't have Prey in the Week, um, but I do have a lot of other modifiers coming into play here. So basically, I'm going to be getting very, very large Frost Bolts, and Frost Bolts do more damage when I shatter them. So I'll show you a couple different ways to shatter, and I will show you, um, you know, how I would do a one-shot burst. So here's my Ice Form. It gives me 30% frost bolt damage, uh, which is you know quite a large buff in the last 12 seconds. But in addition, whenever I pop ice form, I actually get chill to the core additionally, which is 20% frost damage. I'm not sure how all of these modifiers actually stack, but it's pretty insane how big of a frost bolt you can you, you know you can actually get. So I have 20% increased frost damage. I have. Uh, 30% increased frost bolt damage, and then here we have um, when your frost bolt deals 200 um, deals 200% additional damage to frozen targets. So you know when you hit something frozen with your frost bolt, boom, it's even bigger. Um, so I'm getting huge deep shatters with 200% increase, with ice form 30% increase, and shield of the core 20% increase. And on top of that, let's see, we have Encanter's Flow, which gives it uh, anywhere from 4 to 20% increase. Obviously, you want to try to get it on the higher end. And yeah, I'm not playing Unstable Magic, because in Arena, it will you know it does have a chance to break CC, but it has a 20% chance for Frostbolt to explode, doing 50% of that damage to you know enemies in the area. So, yeah, I'm not taking that just because... For you know demonstration purposes, I don't want to play a spec that I wouldn't play in arena. Like this guy whispered me, "Don't get frost nerfed, <laughs> you dummy." Okay, well I'll try not to. So here is let's see some more modifiers we have. Shatter. So this is what actually makes your frost bolt crit on these frozen targets because it gives you a higher critical strike chance um, by giving you 1.5 multiplier and 50% additional crit chance. And I think that's about it. So a couple different ways you can shatter your frost uh your frost bolts let's go over that first before we even show you the one shot so to shatter your frost bolt you can frost bolt into a pet nova very standard 268k and that was that's not, that wasn't even a crit i don't think yeah, that was a hit no that was a crit okay um or you can actually frost bolt and spam your no real nova 278k okay you can frost bolt and spam your ice nova that's also a different way to shatter and we have a 324k, or, see with my shield of the uh, brain freeze proc, if you're very far away, max range, you can frostbolt with a brain freeze proc, and that will also shatter. As you can see here, 349k, most people don't know about that one. So there's four different ways, you can ice nova shatter, you can freeze shatter, you can frost nova shatter, and you can uh, flurry shatter. So that's four different ways you can actually benefit here from deep shatter and you want to constantly throughout these arena matches looking for opportunities to get these deep shatters off to one-shot people. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, let's show you the modifiers with Ice Form, Shield to the Core, Blood Fury, which is my Orc Racial, um, and Deep Shatter all stacking together. For this first burst here, I am going to use my Onus Trinket and then I'll show you the damage without it here in a minute as well. So here is just a shatter combo. Okay, this is a very large amount of damage. Let me sheep him. And before these buffs run out, three, two, one, I will do a another shatter combo. Look at that. That kind of damage is absolutely insane. That's literally just a frostbolt doing 616,000 damage on that one, 511,000 on here. Pretty variable. And uh, just can kill literally anything in a couple hits here so as, as this guy gets more hp i'll show you guys again without blood fury or my trinket um just to give you guys a quick reminder you can't use trinkets in pvp but you can use blood fury so in arena it'll be ice form and blood fury with no trinket so a quick uh demonstration you'd be frost bolting pet nova frost bolt ice nova frost bolt perhaps blink and normal Nova. Boom. You can kill someone in three Frostbolts, 100 to 0, with only a 45 second cooldown. 
If you also want to do very large burst, you can uh, duel. And say you you only have like two seconds to get damage off, that's it. You can't cast three frost bolts like I just did there, and you can only cast one frost bolt, and literally that's it. So what you're gonna do is actually pop ice form, frost bolt, freeze, and ice nova all at the same time. And what that's gonna allow you to do is to get your ice nova, that shatter bonus of the critical strike chance of freeze, and give your frost bolt the deep shatter bonus from the ice nova. Um, all of this is a very large uh, combined burst, and this is what I do in a lot of my openers where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get stopped here in about two seconds, because maybe one guy's sheep to one guy's feared, but the sheep and the fear are about to end, and I know I don't have two or three frost bolts, I only have one frost bolt to get off. Um, then I'm gonna do an opener like this, and I wouldn't have enough time to glacial spike, because it's, you know, it's such a long cast time, but I would go ahead and, um, let me get myself in combat, I would stack up my encanters, and go ahead and do this. If I had a second chance to get Frostbolt, I would just do that. And then boom. People are dead in one or two hits. It's actually the most insane amount of damage. And that's why I keep telling people, you don't need Glacial Spike. You can do huge deep shatter combos with just a Comet Storm. Um, or not a Comet Storm. Uh, with taking Comet Storm instead of Glacial Spike. Just by shattering with Ice Novas, Freezes, Frost Novas, and Flurries. Okay, also just a, just a quick point too. If you can't cast at all... A lot of people seem to think that Comet Storm doesn't do any damage, um, but it does a little bit of damage. So, if I break this real quick, um, say I can't cast, I can just pop my Ice Form, and then just Comet Storm and Ice Nova. I did about 28% of his life, okay, 28% of his life, without Blood Fury or Trinket or anything like that, 28% of his life and with just Comet Storm Ice Nova. That's pretty incredible damage, um, almost 30% there just by, with two abilities. So that's what you do if you can't cast. Um, you know, you have, say you have two melee on you, if you try to cast a Frostbird, it's gonna get kicked, that's what you do, but I hope this clears things up, guys. This is why I'm playing uh, Comet Storm, because the Comet Storm damage is not that bad. And that is how to one-shot um, as a Frost Mage. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys wanna see next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.